Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Rayman 2! In the last part, we pretty much went through the tutorial world of this game, and we met the Teensies, and they brought us to the Hall of Doors. And now we're going to the Fairy Glade, and as you can see, we have a thousand lumps to collect and 80 cages to break. So let's get to it! The Fairy Glade, here we go. P pretty much from here on out, uh, the practice mode is over. Like, this is your first actual world. Okay, so what we have to do is uh, jump on this mushroom, but I'm actually going to get a bit sidetracked at first. Um, yeah, um, there's diving in this ga game. You can hold a Z to dive like that, and you and hold A to surface. You can s also shoot, and I touch that actually the bullets actually have different sound effects. And you can collect blue lumps to uh, get your air back. Uh, some lumps do actually not disappear, but these do. Like one of these probably stays. Yeah, that one stayed. So I can. That's pretty much a, a full refill right there. So yeah, Rayman can actually swim in this game now. Well, as opposed to Rayman One, where he just instantly died just by being in the water. And yeah, that's what you have to do right there. Don't know if you heard it, but that little tune right there, that's basically if you solved something, I guess it's like Zelda or something. So, yeah. In Rayman 3, it got even a better upgrade, but you hardly were in the water there. Swimming is not advised. Why is that, actually? Well, for one thing, there is a piranha in there, and that's what they're called, the piranhas. They're returning enemies from the first game, except in this game they're much easier because, well, if you just hit them once they're gone for good, well, unless you get warped back to the checkpoint. And yeah, those green lumps basically uh, act as checkpoints, and if you go in any sort of hazard, like the death water we were just in, uh, that causes you to teleport back to the green lump. Now we can go up here. And there's a cage over here. This one is actually kind of tricky to uh, to hit, but it's not too bad really. Pretty much all the cages in the game contain lumps. I mean that's pretty much how it works. Like some have big, some have big lumps, and the big lumps are worth were five. Well, actually we haven't seen one of those yet. Hurry, right, Raymond, we want our daddy back. Yes, I'll do that. And yeah, here we have another green lump. Pretty much if you see a sign with a piranha on it, then you know that it's death water, basically. So, yeah, you can't go in it. Man, and there's oil in here, or something. Okay, over here we can jump off. And then we can go on to this raft of some sort. And you get to safely go across, and uh, yeah, this is the first person view, I already showed that. But you know, just in case you forgot, here you go. You're pressing the zero button, or the O button, whatever you prefer. Doesn't actually work, you have to use, okay, I have to use the, the zero button on the right side of my keyboard, okay. Well, at least I know that now. Still, there are some, there's some parts where you cannot, uh, control the camera like sections like this you see this camera thing come up that you can scroll or whatever do stuff with the camera and here we're going to meet one of my personal least favorite enemies in the game and my absolute favorite uh, my absolute uh, least favorite thing uh, Okay, you didn't really get to see it, but did you see that gate? Well, you might have been able to see a black sort of cloud thing in there. Well, that's actually called a caterpillar. But later in the game, uh, we will get to see small caterpillars that basically have only one segment of a caterpillar's body. And I'll just say this right now. Those are by far my least favorite enemy out of all enemies in, the, in all games I've played. I just can't stand them. And what I also can't stand is that they're re being real jerks. Because you see this cage over here? You cannot get it. 
You can try what you want, you will not get it. You actually have to get there from a different level, and then you need to get over there. So, because of that, it's impossible to 100% this level. And it's the only level where that is the case too. So, basically, so basically, if, if you want to collect as much on the first run as possible, you will end up having 48 lumps collected and 6 out of 7 cages broken. And yeah, you can kind of see the preview of the area you actually have to go through. And there, that's actually where small caterpillars are. Which, as I said, are my least favorite enemy of all time. But uh, anyway... We are going to encounter the Pirates! And this one in particular, you cannot kill because you simply can't reach him. This thing is called the Red Henchman 800. Uh, this one will throw barrels at you. The, the henchmen have various attacks, but, but sometimes it also has to do with the color. Anyway, there's a secret area over here, which the first time that I found it, I was kind of amazed that I found it, because I was like, holy crap, there's a whole new area over here. I didn't know it was here, and I started exploring like hell. I mean, that, those were good times right there. I can't, I can't just talk about this game just the whole time. I mean, I have so many memories of it. I mean, you know, just me talking about the least favorite enemy, my least favorite enemy of all time. Whoa, um, it's freezing. Okay, thank you. Currently it does that. Oh well, I'll just have to get used to it. Anyway, there's a cage over here with a big one. You will actually see that there's a cage behind there, but don't worry, you can get it later. You just have to come from a different entrance. Okay, the best way to go back is just to suicide, so we And, you know, this just show uh, how the hazard kill works. In, in the 3DS version, they, make that, they made this game so much easier, because every hazard you jump in is basically counts as a one-hit kill and basically if you if you got killed you basically went back to the checkpoint instead of getting a game over so get, getting a game over was impossible in that game look at this web you can grab onto it oh thank you I didn't know that they're throwing barrels at us so oh dear I, I will say the 3ds version is by far the the worst version you can get. If, if you can get another version, do that because the 3DS version is by far the worst version you can have. It, my, I Personally, I think the superior version is the PlayStation 2 version. Careful, there are lots of pirates in the area. There's a good chance you'll have to fight one. To move around, do a comment, press control. This will allow you to keep your item cop target. And make it easier to avoid his shots. Oh man. Holy crap, there's a pur This is the purple henchman 800. This one can jump around depending on where you're standing. So if you're standing up here, it's gonna jump or roll that way. Uh, these guys take six hits to kill. You know, just six regular shots at least. Okay, that was weird. And over here, you have another one. But, okay, th this is kind of what also makes this game a bit easier, because if you have bullets that ricochet off walls, they will automatically lock onto an enemy. So if I do this... Cheap hit! I'm just... Th this is just... This just makes it so easy. Like, seriously, you can just camp behind something and still hit something. And here you have a powder keg, you can just walk to it and you will automatically pick it up. Um... With that, you can press A to just uh, throw it into the air and catch it again. It's basically used to shoot while you're doing that, you know, in between. And you can press space, you know, the fire button to uh, throw it. And basically those steel band-aid doors that you see, uh, that's where you need the powder kegs for to destroy those things. So, yeah. Anyway, now we go up here. Need to hang around a li little bit more. There are two lumps over here that might be a bit easy to miss if you don't know that they're there. Air laser! Ow! Yeah, okay, here you just basically have to bounce on this a couple of times to get enough height to not get lasered. Okay, that didn't hit me. 
the game has a wrong opinion. And while well, here I can pretty much do the same thing, just camp and stuff. Just do this and you're done. But you know what? Screw it. Let's hit the switch and let's actually progress because you know that was the the electrified wall was basically the, what we just saw when we went into this base. Oh my god, more lasers! Which you can obviously just jump over. You know, th this game is actually really easy. Uh, you know, mostly, this game is really easy. I can totally make this jump, right? No, I can't! This game is too hard! No, not really. Okay. Holy crap! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's Lee! Shit! Well, you can free her like this. And we need to find the machine and destroy it. Oh, it so happens that the machine is over here. In the 3DS version, there would be a pirate right here that would attack you. Just saying. The mo I, I can only really tell stuff about the 3DS version and a bit, little bit about the PS2 version because I saw, you know, LPs of that. Well, not really LPs, you know, at least without commentary. And this is basically where you need to use the the A button trick where you uh, fling it upward so you can shoot those bombs. Wow. And occasionally those bombs will basically just pop out of their dispenser, I guess. Now it's best to just go after the hardest the hardest ones first because you know that's just easier. Basically, when you hit the third one, it will basically lock you into a cutscene and they won't come out anymore, so... Yeah... For some reason, it's trying to electrify the death water over there. It's green water. Uh, yeah, there, there, there's actually a lot of death water in this place. You can also try to throw the barrels at the bombs, but that's not gonna do you any good. Because then you have to go back anyway, and... Well, pretty much no matter what, if you go to those band-aid things, you'll have to at least hit one of them. And that does it. Boom! Lee, are you okay? Oh, Rayman, at last. I was afraid Krobox had failed. He gave me the silver lump, but we got separated. I need to find them and get rid of the pirates. But to do that, I'll need all of my powers. I am too weak to give you back all of your powers. They broke the primordial uh, energy core into 1,000 lumps. The combining and combining the energy has become very difficult. But there is another solution. Have you ever heard of Pollocus? Oh um, no, I don't have enough lumps to know that. He's the spirit of the world. His powers is immense. He could help you defeat the pirates. Unfortunately, he's been sleeping for many years. But there's a legend in which says he could be awakened. If you reunite the four masks. The four masks? These masks are magical and very powerful. They are hidden in secret and mysterious places. Ooh. Find them, Rayman. It's our only hope. I'll help you by giving you all the energy I've gathered within this electrical barrier of doom. Great. Another silver lung. But this gives you different power. Yeah! Ooh! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it. You just have to count on it. Now you can grab onto the purple lumps. And that's pretty much all it does really. Uh, it lets you grab onto purple lumps. It doesn't like increase the strength of your uh, shots. It only, well, you know, it only makes your shot blue. And 80% to jump off, simple as that. Climbing up and, well, that's the end of the level right here. I don't know why, but every time I see him walk right there, it looks like he's kind of walking at an angle. Like, he's not exactly walking for. He's walking forward, but he is... Uh, I don't know, it looks weird. Anyway, we got a ginormous pit right here where I have to fall into, which is really cool. 
At least I think I, it's cool. And we need to get some worms. And there's oil falling from a great height. That's pretty great. Yeah, okay, we're done there. Also in this game, there's no such thing as fall damage. You'll just take no damage at all. And upon breaking that cage, you will wake up. <laughs> As you saw, you can also kind of lead his shots, so they just totally don't hit you at all. Whoa, there are tornadoes everywhere. In the Dreamcast version and in the 3DS version, there would be a pirate here that would shoot uh, time bombs at you. You see these air currents, Rayman? Activate your helicopter right now and you'll fly. Well, that was a short explanation. Well, really, that's all you need to know. So you just hold your helicopter and you'll be able to just fly upwards. Now, this is the kind of place where it can be really easy to miss some lumps. Because you pretty much have to go in the, all of the tornadoes. And, you know, you can actually skip some of them. So you want to be sure not to do that. So just check your surroundings first and then just go one at a time, I guess. Now, if, if, you, if you miss the lump like that, you just have to stop your helicopter and just time it so that you'll get it anyway. So, yeah. not, that, not that much of a big deal. Now, I believe in practice I missed these two. So that was kind of poopy. You know, at least the good thing about the lumps that you will miss anyway is that you only have to do an exclusive segment of this level, of this world I mean. And uh, after you got those lumps and cages, you'll just go back to the level from whence you came. Because I, as I said, you had, need to get to that secret area from another, wor from another world. But that world we won't see until much later. So yeah, I think it's like pretty much past the halfway point of the game just about so yeah okay now we've got another one over here i'm making sure that there isn't anything else uh yeah okay we have that one right right there i'm gonna take this one first because this one has two two oh okay just one never oh, well there were two but apparently that one was kind of not appearing because of draw distance the, the, the draw distance with the lumps is kind of weird because some because you have you have times where they do appear from appear from a very far distance and sometimes they just take forever to to be visible. Now I might be wrong that maybe in another version of this game there's something over here inside this wall. I'm not sure about that. Giant swing! I love this. I just love swinging on this wee. It's a ginormous jump. And here we have a dead end. What? Well, if you look up, there's a cage over there. Break the cages. Their energy will be less vulnerable. Vulnerable, blah, blah. And yes, indeed, for every 10th cage that you break, um, your maximum energy will get higher. And at the end of the level, you have to do a little dance with this guy and uh, end the level. That's very hard to work from here on out. For at least pretty much all of the levels. And yeah, no matter what, you won't be able to get everything here. But if you do 100% it, you'll basically get access to a bonus level, and... To be fair, I do not really care about the bonus levels. I'll, may I'll probably show a few of them, but... Don't count on me doing all of them, because they're extremely redundant. Um, anyway, in the next part... Uh, I guess we'll go to the next world, which is the Mars of Awakening. And, uh, well, you might think it's a bigger world, but no, it's actually a really small one. So, uh, yeah. And who is that character right there? Well, I guess we'll have to find out next time. So, hope you enjoyed, and see you later.